Hey, man. Yo. Can you hear me? Yeah. There. There we go. Hello. You got a haircut? Yeah. You like it? Looks good, man. Hmm. How you been, man? Amazing. Really good. And I think it's pretty much thanks to you. I think everything started working out as soon as we started talking. And it's not a coincidence. <laughs> just everything in my life is just working all the time. Um, feel very confident. Uh, a bunch of girls started liking me all of a sudden. Uh huh. Yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't. I, I guess I'm different somehow. Yes. Um. Then. Been doing a little better with trading, which I've always been good at, but now I'm actually really doing well. But the market's also been crazy. Okay. Um. Not necessarily better with like business deals, because everything, everything else, that's about the same. Maybe actually, when I'm more sad, I do those better because I don't get excited. And it's it's important okay. not to show any emotion. If I get show that I'm getting excited or not or, or upset it, 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 in a business transaction, it seems good to poker face it. Okay. Right. And I uh, I got worse. I think from being happier. Okay. That's the only thing in my life that got worse. So what do you mean by happier? I wake up and I don't want to kill myself. Thanks to you. Pretty sure. That's a plus. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that's a plus. I, I I don't I don't know. So I I appreciate that. Uh, you know, you feel I'm somewhat responsible for this. I'm I'm grateful for that. Okay. I think as I tell most people, you know, we spend we've spent one hour a week together over the last what is it two months? Like on average, like we've spent like a total of six hours together over a two month period, right? Yeah. So I, I just don't think that, like as a scientist, I don't think that six hours invested over two months. What do you think has been your hand in this? I mean, I've definitely done stuff, but you just, you ha you being there to guide me in the right direction, even if you just talk to me for five minutes, uh, I, I could end up dwelling and thinking about it for uh, one thing you say, I could think about it for a hundred hours, right? For the whole, Every waking hour of the week, I could think about it. Okay. Um, so we got 16 waking hours a day, 70 plus 42, 100, 112 hours, right? 112 hours of therapy happening from one thing you say. I take it through the with me through the whole week kind of thing. Yeah, but that's the key thing. So that I, I'll accept in a moment. Uh, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. But I think the main thing here is that the work is not just what we do together. It's what you do in your mind after we talk. Uh -huh. That's where the real money is, right? That's where, and, and this is what I've seen, uh, yeah, Rekful, like yeah. I've worked with a lot of people, is like some people take what we do together and they implement it and they think about it and they reflect on it yeah. in between our sessions. Mm -hmm. And those are the people that get dramatically better. So I want to commend so you I'm for dramatically better. Yeah. So, so, I mean, but like, if you think about where does the grind happen, it's like, I may give you the DPS rotation, but then you're the one who's practicing it out. Yeah. I'm really good at, right? I'm, I'm really good at doing the max DPS once I have the rotation. Yeah. You're And so I think, I think you should give yourself a pat on the back, man. Feels weird. Why do I, <coughs> <coughs> Why do you think it's important for me to not necessarily def deflect your appreciation, but try to add some color to it or context? You want you want me to feel like I'm w w doing well working on myself, I think? Uh, it's more than that. So it's not just that I want you to feel that way. It's that I want you to really understand that I do believe that you are instrumental in, in, in changing your life. Like, I don't think it's an external force that can create the kind of change that you're talking about. I just don't believe that about people. Okay. Like, it can it can be an influence, absolutely. It can be a playbook, I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's just a matter of semantics here. It's an influence, sure. But without your sure. influence, uh, without, what's an example here? Uh, 
Um, so my whole life I've been in my own head thinking about what is the correct path of action to solve a certain problem I have. Mm -hmm. And I'm going between 10, 20 options maybe. And every okay. day is a struggle deciding which one. And then I pick one and I see how it goes. If it goes well, sometimes I'm like, maybe that was just random that it went well. I'll try it again. And it's kind of like this game of, uh, what do they call the method where you just try things and see if they work out? Brute force? No. Yeah, but no. Um, trial and error? Trial and error. So it's a trial and error of 20 options on how to deal with a mental problem. And then when you give me two options, like I was saying, previous stream or the one before, it makes it so much easier. I'm just seeing the, the lines, right? And I'm just like, oh, I'll take this one. Yeah. If you, you cut out like the 18 bad options for me and I'm just picking and everything's working. Great, man. I'm, I'm happy and to hear that. Whatever you want to call it, influence or whatever. But it, it was a key thing that changed me completely. Everything in my life's better. Okay. Well, awesome, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was able to influence you or, or I'm glad you found our time helpful. Yeah. Um, I think he's auto adjusting. Do, yeah. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> can we talk for a second about like what's going well and, and maybe why you think it's going well? Um, I got or, a or there, is this a... I won't talk okay. about her too much on stream. It'd be better not to. She's a okay. like, super highly successful person. Uh, which I, I find very attractive. Like, uh, we missed the boat, chat. Our chances, our chances are over. I, just, I, I could still date you on the side, you know. I think she wouldn't get jealous <laughs> over a guy. So okay. Um, but you you made this statement that women are finding you like more attractive now. Yeah, it's true. It happened all of a sudden. After how does that work? Because I'm more confident. They like confidence or whatever, right? <laughs> That's part of it, absolutely. Why does it keep auto adjusting? It's triggering me. Stupid camera, dude. I want everything manual. Hold on. Listen to me, camera. I need to see the other um, side. Sorry, the quality got worse. Okay, that was weird. I'm obsessive about this kind of stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like photography. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to deal with it right now. It's a really bad time. And it keeps auto-adjusting, man. It's so triggering. Okay, I'll just let okay. it auto-adjust. It's fine. So, so Rekful, I, I agree that, you know, there's the whole confidence thing. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. I'm really it's trying just, to focus, but it, just, brights, it lights up the whole screen. It's very distracting, dude. Okay. Go ahead. I, I just think you're ascending into heaven like every like 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, but so I think that there's another piece of it, which is your perception, right? Your perception of how attractive, what you perceive. So I, I, I would, I wouldn't be surprised. I should say that your pers you know, you say, oh, women find me like attractive because I'm confident now and I'm feeling better. But like, it's very possible that they find you attractive as well during your low times, but that maybe you're not able to see that. What do you think about that? No. Well, they might, but then if they do, I ruin it when I'm, because when I, during my low times, I'm very needy and I'll just like, uh -huh. a girl will like me. It'll be obvious they like me, but then I'll spam her a wall of text. Okay. Which I actually feel like I need to do because I need okay. a response at that moment because I feel like I'm going to explode in my brain. I don't need to hang out. I just need like a, a, someone to talk to me. And okay. I, they don't talk to me. And I, I've uh, previously dated a lot of like gamer girls who are the terrible at responding. The worst. Uh, every game. I realize this with every gamer girl I talk to now. They're all bad at responding. So I'm so happy to not be dating a gamer girl. <laughs> now they're really bad at responding. because They're always playing something and they're never going to respond. So I'd always like twi text like fucking actually 50 times when I'm like, I'm, I'm like, dude, please, I'm losing my mind. Like I need to talk to someone, please, hello. Like, please, please respond. Like, it just sounds so desperate and bad. 
And uh, <coughs> even if they liked me originally, then they don't. But now I don't I feel like I need so, that right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, I just want to clarify. So it sounds like people still, you know, like you. It's it sounds like some of the feelings that you have translate into behaviors, which kind of pushes people away when you're not feeling well. Some of the feelings I have translate into behaviors, which push people away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So if you're feeling if you're feeling well right now. Is that like emotionally well or like more holistically well? Holistically well. I feel like everything in my life is coming together. And it actually feels like I have cheat codes on. It just feels like everything's working every time. Uh, it feels too easy. Everything's working. All Anything I do just works. And then before, everything was really hard. Because a year ago... My mom and I were talking about doing a suicide pact and both dying. And now, like, uh, everyone's happy. So. Is your mom happy? My mom's happier now. I think she's happier because I'm happy. It's like a chain reaction. You guys sound close. Sounds like. Close emotionally, but we don't talk all the time. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Rekful, is there something in particular that you'd like to talk about today? No. Okay. Then let me um, offer like one or two things. So I, I'd like to help us understand a little bit about how you're doing better. And if there are certain emotions that you feel that sometimes change your behaviors and tend to drive people away, is there some way that we can help you? So if you're overall like feeling well, sort of like spiritually... Yeah. And there are going to be days where your emotion... Day. You'd be happy with that. I'm using, awesome. a, I'm so, using a guidance uh, waking up. I really like that guy. Do you know who he is? Sam Harris? Yeah, he's fucking awesome. <coughs> Do you like him? He's good. Yeah, I like Sam Harris. Okay. So um, I, I just want to help us understand, like, if you're doing well right now and your emotions, because your emotions are going to fluctuate over time, right? You're going to have something's going to happen and then like your no, neurons are going to all the time. Dr. K, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, so when, <clears throat> when that happens, how can we sort of buffer against those periods of time? Cause I think the issue now for you, Rekful, then that you're on an upward trajectory the is stock's like going down soon, dude, this is the peak. We're scared. That's what you're saying. If my no, life, if my no, happiness no. is a stock. This isn't the peak. No, 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 buddy. This is the beginning of the elevate. This is the beginning of the, the elevation. Oh, we're in an upward trend? Yeah, we're just getting started. Are you sure? My happiness is going to get higher from here? Yes. No way. That's insane. You're it's just so starting hard. to live life, man. Wait. I can get happier than this. Sort of, yeah. Everything's perfect right now. Damn, that's crazy. If but I really can. Well, I mean, I, I don't know about happier because that sort of quantifies it. But what I'm saying is that like you're living like, like you're living like it. I like quantifying everything because I'm like numbers guy. I, you, you notice that about me. I know. Mm. Yeah. So so this is what I, I and I, I don't think <coughs> Actually I need to stop this doing that. I need to just start living. Like because when you when you I, I when you think it sucks, I realized I was I was at a club and I realized I'd never enjoyed a club in my life and I was I'm, I'm gonna fucking meditate in the club, dude, like with my eyes open, and I was just gonna, I'm just gonna like enjoy this experience with no thought, and then I loved it. There was like, people were dancing, like moving their bodies, and the lights were nice, and then I actually danced, you know. And I was like, damn, I could see why people like this, but I've always been thinking too much to enjoy it. Yes, yes. Wreckful, you're getting it, man. I'm fucking getting it, dude. So this is just the start. This isn't me like being paranoid and don't, don't shatter this thing. This is saying that you are on a particular trajectory mm -hmm. and there are going to be waves that hit you from side to side. What I want to help you do is figure out how can you buffer those waves because the waves are going to calm down on their own. There's going to be like a storm that happens and then the storm will pass. The main issue now is that how do we keep you stable enough to when that storm hits 
to not forget that this is still the upward trajectory that we you want to go. Because if you can just get through the storm, you're going to get back to this place. If I treat my happiness like a stock, maybe I'll be able to handle it. Because I don't have emotions attached to investing. When things go up, like when things go down, the, the thing is, everyone else I know, they're always freaking out. I'm just like, eh, it's fine. You know? Maybe I could do the analogy with my emotions where I'm like, I know I the emotions are going to come and go happiness and sadness. And overall, though, I'm fine. Yeah. So just like just like <coughs> whatever company I fucking invest in is fine. Byron's fine, too. Exactly. So that is something in Sanskrit called vairagya or detachment. Detachment. The, All right. Makes eh, sense. It's fine. Right. Like things are going to happen yeah. and it's not like a good thing. Right. Like you can lose money I'm gonna try and to you fix can this experience. While you're talking. I'm still listening. Just, just... That's fine. You, you, you can try to you're, you're going to have days where you're going to feel bad and you're going to have days where you lose money. Those are all negative outcomes. Me lose money. You're going to. Are you sure? No, <laughs> I'm trolling. <laughs> Presumably. I don't know. Yeah, of course. I have to have days where I lose money. <laughs> and, keep going, keep going. and and so what you need to do is just remember that that that's just, you know, it's just part of what happens. Like so negative emotions are going to be a part of life. And they don't necessarily signal that your life is falling apart or is going amazing, as bizarre as this sounds. Negative emotions and, don't signal that my life is falling apart or going amazing. I can see that because today when I woke up with after really bad dreams, even though everything's perfect in my life, I was actually feeling negative for a second, for like 30 minutes. And I was like, wait, everything's absolutely perfect, but I don't feel good. That's just weird. But then I, I as the day progressed and I stopped feeling similar to the dreams where I'm dying, then I... Uh, then I was okay. I wish I remembered my dreams better to tell you, but I'm always dying. I'm always dying in the dream. I wake up. Uh, hey, you have recurrent dreams of you dying? Yeah, I die a lot. Are they different deaths? Usually falling. Vatas have dreams of falling. <laughs> What's that? Do you actually die or you just hit the bottom and then I you never wake up? actually see myself die. I just wake up. Yeah. That's normal? Yeah, for for people of your ayurvedic constitution, yeah. For people of my constitution, what does that mean? Ayurvedic constitution. Have we not talked about vata yet? I wish I could remember the terms better. If it was all English, yeah, I would remember it better, yeah. So, so vata is one of the three uh, like elements. So all human beings have three kinds of elements in them, and some people have higher levels of, you know, a particular element. So vata is represented by wind and ether, and um, ether. so vata I like people the word tend ether. to. What does ether mean? Ether is the space between things. So it's kind of like the backdrop. So it, it's also void. Ether is, an, is another. the space between things. Yeah, it's like the space within which other stuff exists. Okay. Like, so space is not like ether. a thing, right? The so, space but, in which so, things exist is the ether. Yeah. That's how, generally speaking, traditionally ether can was I, can I see defined. What, let me see what Google says. Yeah. So, like, you exist within a space, but that space is like, it's a thing, but it's not a thing, right? Plus you were a thing. colorless, volatile liquid. That is high. The clear sky, the upper regions oh. of the air beyond the clouds. Okay. Yeah. I see. The ether. Ether is a cool word. Ether. Ether. <coughs> I have some, I have some eth ethereum. Ethereum. Is it based on ether? I certainly think so. Yeah. The ether. Because <laughs> it's based on empty space. Let's see. I, I, dude, I think I'm doing really well on it. Let's see. Okay. Raffles, oh focus on God. All right. I'm sorry. Um, so <clears throat> people like Vata are like the wind. So they tend to get interested in things quickly. They also tend to get bored with things quickly. They tend to be like kites oh, blowing shit. around. Don't tell me this. No, I'm just like, yeah, I get bored of things really quickly. Yeah. Yep. So you're Vata. I'm Vata too. So the other features of vatas are that their eyes are bigger Vata than their is a stomach. Type of person, yeah. Personality, uh, yeah. It includes personality. Also includes physical things. Also includes mental characteristics. So we're both vata, and how many are there yeah. total? Just so I start framing three. this. There are three. three types of personalities. One's vata. There are three elements, and then people have different levels of each element, and that sort of determines your personality type. So some people are like equal parts of two of them. Okay. 
but you and I are are both vata. Your secondary element is pitta, by the way. So I'm ba- so pitta vata is pitta. Fire and water. Yeah, you're vata pitta. I'm iron what? In English, fire and water. So I'm fire pitta is fire and water. No, no, your Do I have a first primary element is, and a secondary. Yeah. Yep. Your is primary element is wind. Your secondary element is fire. Wait, my primary is wind. Yes. Okay, absolutely. I'm wind, absolutely, and then secondary is water. Is uh, fire. This, this is cool. fire and water. I like this. Yeah. Wait, wait. Did you say fire? Fire and water. Yeah. So each, oh, fire each. And water this is, is one. why. This is what's. This fire is what's water confusing. Is one. Is one called fire each and water? Each dosha. Yeah. So the yeah. Th- so people have all three doshas, and then each dosha is composed of two elements. Okay. But let me just tell you a little bit about vata. Okay. So. People who have high levels of vata also are like ADD, so their mind tends to wander again, very quickly. Vata is the wind one. Yes, the wind I am one. Very Just windy. imagine a, yeah, imagine a mind like the wind blowing really hard in one direction. Oh, what is my Ethereum doing right now? Blowing in this direction. Oh, let me fix my camera over here. Let me do this over here, over here, over here, over okay. here, over here. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. So other th- other features of vata, their eyes are bigger than their stomach. So I would guess that you get very very hungry, but then it doesn't take a whole lot of food to actually like fill you up. Yes, I or- I'll order way too much food and I've realized it, so I stop. Yep. So that's another vata characteristic. Vatas tend to be what we call people with fast metabolism. So you can eat a lot and you don't won't really gain weight easily. Sometimes, I've gained weight a few times, but yeah, you're mostly. One uh, sometimes yeah. I eat like a crazy person. My stream is seeing it. Oh. Yeah. How so that, that <coughs> so highly fluctuant appetites are also consistent with vata. Hmm. Okay. And I'm to um, this information, yeah. Yeah. And <coughs> I actually so, want to hear. Okay, I want to hear about the other ones. Okay, so pitta is like fire is fire and water. So pittas tend to be driven, focused, argumentative. Um, my textbook question for pittas are: Do you have a low intolerance for the idiocy of others? Hmm. And they do. And Bithas have, oh, like they're just intolerant of the idiocy of others. Well, the thing, or, sorry, I, 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 I wonder if I could change your view with just words, because the way I think about it is the people who are really dumb just got very bad RNG and were born that way. I really believe it. Or either were born that way or their environment sucked. And then sure. I, it's not their fault. So when I, yeah, but the, see, when that... I, sometimes I'll see a really stupid person and someone I'm with will be like, like we have to deal with this person, and someone I'm with is like, "Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. I hate like like this person fucking sucks. They, I hate them." And I'll be like, "That person is more bitter than you are." Yeah, and then I'll I'll say, "You should feel bad for that person, dude. He gets so unlucky. But His just brain does not work." You know. Yeah. So so but but so that's that's like, do you see how there are classes of people who are tolerant of that? And I classes of people. I, I, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm on board yet because I feel like I could slowly convince a bitta. Sure. That absolutely. That that yeah. Would he? Yeah. So I'm not vata, talking then? about. Would he become a vata? No, he wouldn't become become a vata in the same way that a bitta can keep you focused by, like, focusing you, so they can exert their influence on you and cause you to change in the moment. But you still have a natural predisposition to be like the wind, and they have a natural predisposition to be more argumentative. I do notice these natural predispositions in people, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, it could be attributed to... It could be... Ch- if it's changeable, you don't believe in it being changeable. No, no, it is changeable. So, so, it, so you don't we believe have in a natural... going from one to the... Uh, you don't believe in it being changed... You believe in it changing it, it, within the spectrum of still being fire water, but not fire water becoming wind. Okay. Right? So this is important to understand. Okay, so each person mm-hmm. has a dosha. A dosha is a level of vata, pitta, and kapha. Mm-hmm. You're, you have an inherent dosha, which is called a prakruti, and then your doshas, their levels can change based on your environment and diet and other things. So it's kind of like... like my environment, diet, and other things. Yeah. So like, let's say your vata is a, naturally a 10, your pitta is naturally a 6, and your kapha is naturally a 4. So I could get if my you eat, fire water one up to a nine if I change some things. Absolutely. But the, and no, you can the also, other one will always be higher. The wind. Not necessarily. Oh, the wind. So I, over time, I, I could become higher than the wind. I could stop being the wind? You, uh, you could, in theory, have a dominant other dosha. Yes, in theory. I just, it sounds kind of academic to me. Okay. 
but generally speaking, you're always going to be the wind, right? Like, so you're going to have, and so this is, by the way, uh, born out in genetics. So people have done genetic analyses of people who are like vatas, pittas, and kaphas, and they found that they actually share like groups of genes at specific places. We share, we share groups I of can... genes in specific places. So uh, us. Yes, we. you and I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you looked at our genetic analysis, like for example, we're going to share a remarkable number of gene uh, alleles, really, because it's not really genes, but alleles. Alleles. Um, What's an allele? Allele is a particular variant of a gene at a is gene it one location. Of the, the four letters. You know the four no. Okay, that's something else. A, a, an I allele is like like so so like hair color is an allele at the hair color. When you're in school, I mean, and you learn sorry. about dominant recessive is an allele. Like brown is an allele and yes, yeah, yes, okay. exactly. And then, and then right? yeah, so if, if you hit double recessive, you actually passes on. Right. It. Okay. So, so a gene is actually like one location within the genome that governs a particular thing. Uh -huh. So, like we have a hair color gene, yeah. and then some people will have a particular allele at that gene. Other people will have a different allele at that gene. And so what people have, people have done analysis, genomic analysis on Ayurveda. I really want you to say hi to my friends. Sorry, I, I, I'm Wendy. I got, I distracted. Talb, say hi to Dr. K. Come here. Okay. This is the lead designer of Everland and my teammate for 10 years. And wow. This is my okay. mo most important person in my life. Sit down. <laughs> hey man. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How much has he talked about me? He talked about you a lot. Talk uh, he talks about you a fair amount. I've heard a lot about Talb. Wow. Okay. Wow. I've known him for a long yeah. time. Is this is this the camera? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying yeah. To, it's really not set up well. Yeah, because he's over there here. Yeah, I'm fucking. How's up. how's development on Everland going? It's going great. We're very happy with uh, how everything's progressing. You know, so. Can you talk to him for five minutes? Actually, I'm not doing five minutes. Yo, can I AFK? I'll AFK so you don't feel weird. You, do you, you no, do your thing. No, I really want you to talk to him. Not on it's streaming awesome. stuff. You don't like streaming. I want I want to talk to him uh, like off stream or something. You know? Okay, sure. I'll let you do your thing. Are you going AFK though? Okay. I was gonna get a drink. <laughs> just I just 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 AFK in your stream for a second if you need to. Right now. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> no, I need to get a drink so bad. No, you want to talk to me? One minute, talk to him. No, 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 no. That'd be no. fun. Another time. All right. Bye. <laughs> he doesn't like streams. Yeah. But if yeah. he did like streams, that'd be cool for you to talk to him right now. Talk to him another time. Okay. <sighs> happy to. Sorry, I got. I'm really happy. He's he's here visiting. I like him. Been my friend for ten years. Yeah. We still live together. Um, cool. actually, more than ten years. Yeah. No, it's 2020. MLG was 2009. Oh. Okay, maybe ten. Sorry, okay. I keep getting distracted, man. I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, you're, you're, that's okay. Go on. Yeah. So, so Reckful, look, mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm gonna have to get going in about ten minutes, just Fuck. because I, oh, okay. I have a. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I have another sorry. appointment, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, I just want to kind of. So first of all, I want to say awesome that you're feeling better. I'm really glad you're feeling better. Yeah. I'm glad that you felt like I was is instrumental or influential in your change. It's Amazing. been awesome to be a part of your journey. Um, I, I want to still talk a little bit about, and I'm happy to help you out, you know, after we, we talk today on stream and stuff like that, if you want to continue talking and things. Um, but I, I just want you to know that, like, so be careful because I, I want, right now it seems like your feelings and your current situation in life are very closely tied. They're in, entangled. And, and that's, it makes sense. Like, as you start to feel better, as you become more confident you know, the, the world becomes a rosier place. What I would really like to help you do is, is first of all, understand that you're going to have days of like negative emotion where something could happen interpersonally, something could happen at Everland. You could just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Like it could be all kinds of stuff that could happen. And then in those moments, your neurons may go back to like, oh my God, like that was all an illusion. Like it doesn't feel I, like I, any I have, of that that's stuff the is feeling I have. So I'll tell you, yeah. I, every time I, I get sad again, I think that that's the reality is th that the base reality is sadness and that I was just dreaming. Exactly what you said. My, my, my instinct is as soon as I feel sad for a moment, like when I woke up today after the death dreams, I was like, oh, uh, this is this is what it is. This is what I am. I'm this person, this sad motherfucker who wants to die. This is me. And then uh, I slowly got out of it today, though, just living life and being around my friends. But. 
I, I keep waking up in that reality. Um, trying to not, I don't know. I mean, I can't yeah, really. So, so I think you did awesome meditating at the club. I, I want you to meditate in, yeah. in, in the same way when you're feeling in that sadness, right? And see if you can, that's not the real you, but that's also not the fake you. The other crazy thing is this you is not the real you, Reckful. The oh, happy, shit. the happy you is actually just as false. Fuck. Okay. Who's there's, me? there's someone. It's the I? person underneath all that stuff. There's someone who's not independent of the emotions. There's a, a independent person. of the emotions. There's a consciousness. There's me. Yeah, and I think that's the person that you actually found at the club, mm. right? Because that wasn't about mm. emotions. I, I see. Like. I'm starting to believe in this shit about no, when you don't fucking think and you just are conscious, there's a lot to experience. It's just like when you're describing the strawberry taste. I don't can't say it in words what it tastes like unless I was really good at describing it, but I can think. Can't say it. Got, got it's the, impossible. Uh, what, what did you do? What is the word? The word for knowing what it tastes like. Nyan. Nyan, yeah. Nyan, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's so cool. I need to... I need to just live in the experiences more and less in thoughts. So the thoughts have been holding yeah. me back. I keep getting in loops of thoughts that are bad and thoughts really hold me back. I think so wreckful. <clears throat> yes. And now you need to be careful because you need to detach from the feeling good as well. You don't want to build it because this is, this is dangerous because what you're doing is you're building this castle around your life right now, which is wreckful feeling good. And this is real. And that was false. And then, like, if you build this castle You're around right. this self, this is still shaky ground. You're right. You Usually need to someone wouldn't want to hear this because they're in a happy state, so they don't want to be told to settle down. But I know you're right. I like that. Yes. Good. And, and the, the thing is, happiness is actually underneath all of this. Bliss, Anand, is actually, happiness is an emotion, but underneath that is tranquility and bliss and peace. And I think you found that at the club. Right, because at the club you had thoughts, you had emotions, you had this prior experience which which was dictated by your thinking. And once you get underneath thinking, there's just this kind of like chill sort of person. And even below excitement, I want you to find the same person. Just get really good at finding the person underneath, underneath the sadness, underneath the happiness, underneath it all. There's just the there's real there. you. There's me. Absolutely. I've never seen, I've never felt in touch with that. Just like you were saying, how I don't have a self worth last time. Yeah, I'm attached to the emotions. I'm if I'm happy, I love that. If I'm sad, yep. Oh, this is who I am. I'm the sad person. But I'm not. I haven't experienced what it's like to just be alive. Exactly. So the, the, the unfortunate thing, Reckful, is if you attach yourself to the high points, that attachment is going to stick as your mind fluctuates back to the low. Got it. Makes sense. One of the hardest things that I have to teach people when I'm teaching them how to meditate is to be detached. So everyone comes in and says, I want you to teach me how to meditate because I don't want to feel anxious. I don't want to feel depressed. I don't want to feel sad. I don't want to feel all these negative things. I don't want to feel shame. The hard part is teaching them to detach from the positive. Because then you're detaching from the entire phenomenon. Mm. <coughs> I'm trying right now. Good. I can see that. Hmm. I just want to be calm. Okay, I want to be calm. Unattached to the emotions. Oh, that'll feel cool. I'm okay, very so, attached so, to the emotions. So close your eyes. Uh, and once worried. again... Okay, I, I, I'll express first that I'm a little worried about the timing. You have to go really soon. Can I get it in my head how soon? Four minutes? Yeah, five minutes. Okay, it's a little, a little stressful, okay. but I'll try to detach from that emotion too. Good, excellent. Now you're learning. So the first step of detachment, Reckful, is acknowledgement of what you feel. Now you feel the pressure. Right? The pressure creates thoughts. It creates expectations. It creates like concerns. Mm -hmm. Good. So now close your eyes. Find the moment where inhalation becomes exhalation.
I love you, Dr. K. Good. So feel that emotion, right? So you feel that tranquility, that peace. Where did that thought come from? I don't know. Good. I think I think we're getting there. Good. Right? So feel that. Now return. Find the moment where inhalation becomes exhalation. And now Rackful, oh no, we're running out of time. Oh my goodness, okay. have you found it yet? I'm fine. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that, right? Because earlier you were shut, oh my God, how much how long do we have? How long do we I have? Got this. I'm okay. Now, how do you feel right now? Serene. What emotions do you feel? This feeling of not thinking very much. Is so see, serenity, does it right? does it feel does serenity? it feel good? Yeah, yeah. Does it feel good? I'm trying to, good is an emotion, maybe. Beautiful, right? So it feels like peaceful, but it's like not, it's not an, on an emotional, on your character sheet, there's a, like, there's a, there's a place yeah, for status so. effects. Mm -hmm. And those are temporary things and emotions that you feel are under the status effect box. But what you are experiencing right now doesn't go in that box. I'm just playing Does the that character. make sense? I'm just playing the character. It doesn't matter if the status effect is sad or happy at the moment or nervous or whatever. I am the character. You're just something underneath. And it's just like, it's just you. Yeah. I'm Words there. are not used to describe it, right? I get it. I actually get it. The status effect thing was a good analogy. Uh, I'm happy. Oh, that was an emotion, yeah. No, 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 no. So now we come, come to, so I, I think what you are now, so this is, there's a word for this, Anand, bliss. So this isn't an emotion. It's like kind of this weird thing that Buddha describes that's like Nirvana. not quite an emotion. It's, like it's sort of like a stability. Nirvana. Yeah, actually, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? So this is a glimpse of Nirvana. I see. I like it. It's good. Good. Strong work, man. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. That's quick. So the other thing, other thing, Rekful, is that, you know, you talk about how good I am. If you've been fucking meditating every day. Every day. That's, that's good. That's was, why you feel this way. I was uh, listening to Naval and he says he meditates for an hour every single day. And he says it changes his perception of time, which now I actually believe. So then it feels like you have more hours anyway, even though you spend an hour doing it. Yep. Uh, um, I'm gonna try to get to an hour a day, slowly. I'm at, I'm at Fucking like, it! I'm only at ten minutes right now a day. But. That that's fine. Yeah. That, so remember that ten minutes can be way longer than ten minutes. Man, this is it. I I get it. <laughs> Good. You're cool. Okay. So now, like I said, this isn't the peak. Just the beginning, buddy. That's the crazy just part to me, though. I feel like I'm peaking. Everything tells me that I'm peaking right now. Nope. Just I, I, my past experiences when this has happened, when everything's been perfect in my life, it was a peak. But that doesn't dictate this one. It doesn't mean that this time, this time I could go higher. I see that. You're starting to rise in an area that is not. You may have peaked in some part of your life. Like there's like you because your life has ups and downs, right? Yeah, peak perfect in like popularity and like Twitch stuff that's unrelated peak, to. All you can that. you can peak yeah. you can peak all you want to in regular life, but right mm -hmm. now you just started leveling up a whole new skill. You've like unlocked a prestige class. Yeah, I'm and so in a sense, serenity. like a prestige. I'm leveling up serenity, dude. Right. Yeah. I so like level it up. It's like you, you've like just unlocked the advanced class. So in a sense, sure, you peaked because you have to like max out your base class. So it kind of feels that way, but you're Serenity. actually just getting started. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And so just keep at it, buddy. And uh, when will I see you again? Uh, just message me. Let's set up a time for like next week. Okay. Uh, I do want to say on stream, though, just so they know, uh, Dr. K and I are going to start doing this off stream. This was the last one uh, on stream. But um, yeah. 
Hope you guys. So we want to have the series. I'm in a good place. Thank now. you very much. And he's gonna keep so getting I, me to a better place though. So cool. absolutely, man. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna <coughs> we're gonna try to free up, you know, because we have a lot of people that we want to get on stream. A lot of people have asked to come on stream, so we want to make more space for them. I think it's fair. <coughs> I need a, and at the same time, Recful, if you know, I can continue to guide you and teach you how to meditate and stuff like that. You know, let's let's keep it going. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited to talk to you. We had the, the okay. other off stream one we did was good. Yeah, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. All right, take care. Thank you guys very much. And then, uh, Recful, are you streaming right now? Should I just um, raid you? Um, I don't know that I'll be super interesting to your viewers. Maybe someone else. Okay, let me, um, let me, but thank you very much, Rackful. Then let me try to figure out. Okay, I love you, man. Strong work today, Rackful. Love you too, buddy. I love you. See ya.